Well, back in the um, early 80s, uh, the early 80s, because I met Paddy in Perth here, Paddy came down uh, and uh, we were talking about, you know, and I said, oh, I wouldn't mind, oh, I want to go up there, come up there, he said, and because, you know, probably looking for blokes on the APV. Mm. I didn't know what that was then, but I got a diploma in agriculture, see, well, maybe that's got something to do with AP, agricultural things, so I said, yeah, I'll give it a go. Yeah, because my first marriage just finished anyway, mm. so I just on my way, you know. And I got a job with them, and um, um, it was about... We we went out and uh, 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 sprained Nagura Burr, sprained Nagura Burr, and walking from Fitzroy down to Willair Bridge on both sides of the river, eh? And a bit of spraying that, and the donkey shooting on the uh, when the, to- the year within the year come, and uh, later on, I, 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 I uh, we had a um, there's a meeting, the big knobs from Perth came up, and uh, talking about uh, spraying the Agent Orange. I didn't know it was then, but they were talking about spraying the the poison, and. Uh, they, they were that sure they were harmless that they reckon they can drink out of the, the glass, you know, things like that. Mm. And uh, that's what I remember about that meeting. And but later on, uh, um, I, I used to see Ron Delvin fill the drums up to forty four, you know, with, with um, that liquid now. You know? And he used to, I used to watch him, but he used to smell. He used to knock me around a bit. You know? I used to walk and go back up the uh, up the wind, you know, up wind then. Yes, but we used to spray it and uh, walk around the bush spraying with a little knapsack and that. And once, one time they, they had the 44 on the back of the Susie. And I remember, I remember back a year to there, spraying there one year, and I was told, just let the tap bloody run, you know, and just do the spraying, you know. It was that hot, you know, and he had shorts and shorts on, really. Um, I, don't, I don't remember any respirators or what they're talking about. Or anything I had over, I don't, just don't remember that. But uh, you know, you you wipe your you wipe your brows, you get a bloody headache and later on. Bang, bang. Then and then later on, I used to get sore eyes. You know, sore eyes. And I used to come to town there. And later on, in life um, when I had kids, and me, me the, the daughter ended up having gallstones. Taken out at what seven years old or something, yeah? all stones and that, and, and the key, the chemicals got problem too. But I used to, I couldn't breathe. I remember I used to couldn't breathe, and I remember even in town there, we used to come in uh, up to seven days or whatever it was, ten days, lying down, and, and and I had to get the ambulance to come and pick me up, you know. And the missus rang the ambulance to take me down because I just couldn't breathe, and they got me on this thing, the then, you know, the uh, mm. oxygen tank, that. But it seemed to be right then, so I went back out bush again. You know. It never dawned on me it was Agent Orange because, you know, a um, few of the Vietnam vet blokes used to tell me, you know, they'd sit and give me clippings, you know, later on, just say, uh, keep an eye on this sort of thing too. They knew about it in the Kimberley, you know, and because I was one of them, they used to give me the cuttings and all that. I guess I kept the, uh, you know, so I, yeah, they knew it, what was going on, the, the veterans. But um, then I got uh, put off after that because of, uh, I was going to change jobs, see, go to the agriculture department and not the APV. But old Fred said, hang about, because uh, we want you to be one of the leading hands, see, so I said, all right, then. Well, so I ended up being a leading hand then, and take out, uh, there's about three, three or four gangs, but Billy Edwards was, uh, was, was one of the gangs was spraying uh, poison, you know. Um, back at Go Go and all that. Yeah. But, uh, don't remember what happened then. When you guys were at Bush, did anybody get taken to hospital sick? Steve or the boys? Steve has happened in town there when the, the knapsack exploded on his back. That happened in town where the shed is. So he's pretty lucky there, the water tank and all that. Where was that shed? That's that shed out there. That's the shed in Derby, you know? Yeah, the one out there at the airport there. Yeah. Um, 
I remember Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd James. Lloyd James. His, his kids had web fingers, so, you know. When these kids were born. And I uh, wouldn't be surprised if Steve has something happened to Steve has kids too, you know, things like that. But uh, then uh, uh, this compensation, I mean, that's going on for 30 years. I still got nowhere, you know. So going nowhere fast, really. I'm going to wait another 30 years but, you know, until everyone's under, under six foot under or something. Well, they do something. Even the even, uh, stepson of mine, he, he, um, he passed away because of that. You know? mm-hmm. He was still 31, I 31. think. 31. 31. Mm. Nothing they could do for him. No. Too late. So, you know, I'm, I'm having regular checkups now, you know. And I've, I've encouraged the kids to have a checkup too, you know, now and then. Maybe that's all you could do, but I doubt if you see any compensation. Mm. Not as far as I can remember at all, you know. Um, they, I think they act like it. We're getting all these things from lawyers, you know, the papers, and they keep on, oh, we're going to do this and do that. And all of a sudden, the damn thing stops. You don't hear from them again. <coughs> and that, uh, so I just give up. I just give up waiting now, you know. How do you feel when that Sunday time paper that the government denied Agent Orange used? Oh, mate. I don't know who 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 said that. That's a Tony Barras, Sunday Time reporter. Ah, oh, he hadn't been up there. I mean, he hadn't. He didn't know what he bloody talking about, really. You reckon that Mark McGowan reckon no, nah, never used it. Yeah. All well, the black fellas can tell you a difference, though. Yeah. Well, I've seen Johnny Rowe over the years. Just go for just about walking skeleton at one stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've Johnny Rowe that there. Yeah. Um, Patty, another one? Patty, he lost a lot of weight, I reckon, Patty. Well, he's, very, he's a big man, Patty, but. Solid? Yep. They were all solid men. Yeah, it wasn't, not so much fat, but they were all right. Yeah, yeah, solid, they were. Chuck was a melee ball for him, yeah. Didn't see him all skin and bones, huh? Yeah, because everything there points to points to, uh, you know, the lack and all this on their part. They should cop up, get these boys, you know, you know get them compensation they deserve before anything else happens, you know, before they're too late. Um, or even pass it on to the kids or something. You know, yeah, you, you read stories where, oh, so and so gets compensated because he wrongly, wrongly, um, thing, you know, being in jail or wrongly. Mm-hmm. And they're getting massive amounts of compensation. And the old black fellas have got to sit back and wait now. Well, sorry for old, old auntie Lucy, you know. Son and, and a grandson. Like well, the worst one, bro, I thought was Alex went and done Gura. Nolan Shadwood. Yeah, yeah, old Gura, yeah. We went and seen Nolan in Brand New Day. I got up. Then when I come back to the room with him, we met with his girlfriend, or wife now. Molly. Molly. Doing her story. Then she introduced us to the daughter. Who was the 17 year old. Yeah. Rashes, scratching. There you go. Long. Didn't stop there. Baby. Yeah. Little baby as well, but this is the same thing you're talking about now. Kids, you're telling kids to get medical done, checks. Yeah, get checks there. Because this thing's going to go on and on. Yep. I well, want to get it on paper, get it on some sort of medical thing that the, that they've been there and they've been have checked out. Yep. And, uh, you know, every time they go, it's going to be recorded, isn't it? Like, mm-hmm. And I've learning, reckon this is bigger than stolen generation. Mm. That's another claim I'm going for, see, the Stolen Generation mm-hmm. damn thing. Well, Uncle Ernie reckoned this is bigger than Stolen Generation. Eventually, that, eventually, the other, now I'm going to the other one there yeah. at the moment, too.